This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. The Associated Press reports from the capital city. The Texas Attorney General and lawyers for minority groups are in talks to hammer out a settlement on how to draw the state's political maps. The chairman of the Mexican-American Legislative Caucus said Friday, the Attorney General Greg Abbott approached his group to hammer out a compromise that would help keep the state's primary vote on April the 3rd. Troy Martinez Fisher said minority groups want congressional and legislative maps that reflect the increase in minorities living in Texas. Republican lawmakers say they drew new maps to benefit their political party, not to discriminate against minorities. The talks came as a federal court in San Antonio is trying to draw temporary maps so that primary elections can take place in April. An aviation consultant is saying the number of flights into Amarillo 10 years from now might be decided in an office in Brussels. American Airlines bankruptcy continues to follow the patterns of previous airlines, reorganizing while continuing flying operations. The elephant in the room is how much smaller will the airline be after Chapter 11? Who gets what assets? And what will the airline look like when it emerges from bankruptcy? U.S. Airways and Delta are both looking at takeover. According to aviation consultant Michael Boyd, more certain as a bigger partner is British Airways, which already has operating agreements with American on international flights. Boyd expects American to take no more than 18 months. WFAA.com contributed to the story. The Associated Press reports a two-decade-old plan to mine tons of low-quality coal in South Texas for Mexican power plants has been revived. The San Antonio Express News reports a Texas railroad commissioner will begin hearing evidence Monday on an application by the Dos Repúblicas Coal Partnership to strip mine coal just north of Eagle Pass. The border city is 130 miles southwest of San Antonio. The coal is of such poor quality that it cannot be used in the United States, but it can be used in Mexico's federally owned power plants just outside of Pedros Negros. Those plants near the Mexican border city across the Rio Grande from Eagle Pass are not under any pollution restrictions. Eagle Pass area elected officials and community leaders have mobilized to fight approval of the coal mine. If you would like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search SkyServe News or Gene Key. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.